A crisis is brewing in Morocco. The king seems to have lost the favor of his courtiers. His top aides disapprove of his personal choices. And by that, I mean his close relationship with Abu Bakr Abu Azetar. Moroccans feel abandoned by their kid, king. Is Azetar to be blamed? It all began five years ago when an unusual image appeared on Instagram. It showed the king of Morocco, Mohammed VI, sitting next to a muscular man. The two men were pressed up together. Both of them wore sunglasses and were grinning widely. What was even stranger was the story behind that picture. Azetar is a mixed martial arts art champion with a sporty record. He has been convicted of a string of offenses in Germany. This also includes assault. He moved to Morocco in 2018 and that same year, he was seen with the king for the first time. It was at an event to celebrate Azetar's achievements in mixed martial arts. And as the friendship deepened, Azetar began to post photographs of himself with the king. His strikingly informal tone with King Muhammad caught the eyes of the conservative elites. And in one of the posts, he wrote, Our dear king, I cannot thank him enough for everything he has done for us. And soon, Abu Azetar and his brothers joined the king's household. They said they were his personal trainers. Their family and friends also followed. The cage fighters installed a gym in the palace. The king started to work out. His face began to lose its puffiness. The king almost started looking fit. And in return, he showered the Azetas with gifts. In fact, when their mother died, King Muhammad allowed them to bury her in the grounds of his palace in Tangiers. The brothers acquired valuable beachfront real estate. They did not shy away from flaunting it on social media. Reports say the Azetas would use military jets. They would go to the garage and pick up whichever cars they wanted. Simply put, Abu Azetar and his family were thriving. King Mohammed's court officials, on the other hand, were growing ashen-faced. The king's uh, close ties with the Azetas had been fueling anger among Morocco's political establishment. Now that anger has boiled over. The king's top aide, Fawd Ali El Hima, and the domestic security chief, Abdul Latif Hamouchi, opposed the king's relationship. They see Azetar and his family as a danger to the crown. And they are trying to convince the king to cool it off. Case in point being the reports published by the media loyal to the establishment. You see, the king's inner circle is usually left out of the media, but now a series of reports are attacking the Azethers. Some are even describing them as notorious crooks, quote-unquote. And the king, of course, is not happy. Reports say he has escalated a war against the senior officials. The Azethers have also filed for defamation. But what about the people of Morocco? The population of some 37 million people faces multiple problems. Inflation is soaring. There aren't enough jobs. Security services are oppressive. You see, Morocco's economy is sinking, but the king prefers the bright lights of Paris. Last year, he was reportedly out of the country for 200 days. As well, he is set to be in the UAE with the Azetas since last month. Has the king abandoned his people? For the Moroccans, King Mohammed is far more than a figurehead. He has the final say on every matter of importance. Without him, the country's political factions essentially tend to descend into bickering. But he is rarely there to resolve the issues. Should a king have this much power in this time and age? We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.